Wow. Wally here. Guys, I'm freezing. <laughs> Why, Wally, are you standing out on a freezing cold day with only a t-shirt on? Well, guys, it's time. It's time. The battle of the Carhartt jackets, guys. The Bartlett versus the active. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. The battle. The battle of the Carhartt jackets. Okay. I have the Bartlett jacket here. And I have the active jacket here. Okay. So, let's have a close-up look at them each. Then we'll have a fitting. We'll try them on. And I'll tell you what I think. Guys, first up is the Bartlett jacket. Now, this is in Carhartt brown. Cost is about... 115 to 120 pounds sterling it's sharp aligned with quilted nylon sleeves drop tail hem which is adjustable triple stitch duck cotton fleece lined hand warmer pockets and it has cordura reinforced sleeve hems guys center zip with a storm flap guys and a nice big hood as well okay guys this is the JS 130 active jacket Carhartt brown as well. This is quilted flannel lining uh, with quilted nylon, nylon sleeves, triple stitch, center zip, and unlined hand warming pockets, guys, and that's coming in at around £95. Okay. What does all that mean? It means... It doesn't really mean a lot to me to tell you the truth, guys. <laughs> it's about how it feels, how the jacket feels when you're wearing it, yeah? For me, definitely, okay? Active jacket, guys. This is, this has been and is a favorite of mine. The part that is just new, okay? When you put it on, and both of them are the same in this case. When you put it on, it is reassuringly heavy. <laughs> It's not heavy. It feels substantial. It feels it feels like you're putting on a decent coat. Okay. It it fits well. It's easy to work in. Okay. The, the elasticated hem and the elasticated cuffs work a hundred percent. Okay. Long term. This is a wear point. Definitely a wear point. Okay. The active is lovely to wear. It's really nice. It just it feels like a friend. You know it feels. It, that's the way it feels when you put it on. It has that comfort factor as well, okay? Let's have a look at the Bartlett. This feels like a more substantial coat as soon as you put it on. It fits well, it wears well. Uh, This is the Cordura reinforcing points in the sleeves, guys. Doesn't have it on the bottom. Guys, this is Sherpa lined and it's a helicopter coming over, hang on. Guys, the Bartlett is Sherpa lined, which is like a, which which is like a fleece lining. Do you see that there? And that to me would seem warmer, guys, because of because of the way it's ruffled and the way it would trap air and stuff like that, okay? The the active jacket, guys, has that quilted flannel lining, a sort of like a micro fleece on it as well, and it's warm too. Guys, it's the Active is a warm jacket as well. There's no getting away from, that, from the fact that both of these are warm jackets. Now, when it comes to actually going on to the Carhartt website and looking at the difference between the two, all it says is that the Bartlett is a warmer jacket, okay? That's all, it doesn't say. They, they don't really have a temperature range or anything like that. So, guys, the main difference that I can find, right, there's, there's, there's a couple of differences. The lining, the price, 
the build quality is the same. There's more pockets on the Bartlett, guys, and the Bartlett does come a little bit longer, okay? With this drop hem, okay? The Bartlett also has these bellows here for ease of movement. Uh, the Bartlett has got a storm flap on the zip, but the zip itself, guys, the zip itself is quite, let's, let's put it like this, right? It works, there's no, there's, there's nothing about it. It's a YKK zip and everything, and it works, but it's quite a small zip compared to the massive chunkiness of, of, uh, of the active zip, but the, then the active doesn't have the storm flap on the front to stop the wind from coming in. Do you know what I mean? Active feels more substantial. This feels like it could be warmer, but that the, the, the zip might break. Might never happen, but it's just something I've noticed. It does, it does feel less substantial, guys. So, here's the thing. You, you gotta figure out what you're after, right? What are you after? Do you want a warm jacket that looks stylish, okay? Now, both of them are quite stylish, but definitely this, the, the Sherpa, or the Sherpa line Bartlett is a wee bit fancier. Just a wee bit fancier, you know? Siobhan likes it, Siobhan, it's starting to rain, guys. Siobhan feels, likes it as a coat, you know? But this was bought new, whereas the Active was second hand, guys. Now, here's the thing, right? If I'm heading out for a day's work, and it's gonna be a little bit cold, I'm grabbing the Active all the time, okay? So, the Bartlett, I haven't got it to that work stage yet, you know, so I'm still, I'm, if I'm heading out to go collect the girls or I'm heading out somewhere that's not work, I'm throwing this on. I am waiting for this to get like a, I mean, I'm waiting for the winter to come in so I can get this a good trial. And I will end up wearing it down, you know, when I'm working and stuff like that as well. Now, overall, guys, which do I prefer? At the minute, it's a draw. <laughs> Not what you're looking to hear, guys. I, ju I, I just wanted to put the two jackets side by side. Maybe somebody is stuck in the middle, can't decide which one would suit them better. And guys, maybe running through the specs and looking at them side by side will help you make that decision. Both of these are size small, both 100% duck cotton, both the same color. Uh, and but the active is the active is fairly faded. It's it's fairly worn, and uh, guys, neither of these are what you would class as waterproof. I do find them quite water water resistant, um, but there's there's going to be no beading or anything like that. The, the, the water's just gonna gonna run off them. Anyway, guys, listen. I do like those fleecy hand warmer pockets that the part that has. You 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 know what I'm like for those. I love love. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.